everyone, today I wanted to talk about a topic that is very near and dear to my heart lately and I've grown in a large interest in. So let's get right into that. Um, so to begin with, I wanted to tell you guys what it is. Now at first I'm going to say it and people are going to be like, oh my gosh, like immediately turned off by it. But pay attention, keep watching the video because I will tell you guys why I believe in this and why I think it is so important that people participate in it. So I wanted to talk about dumpster diving. <laughs> um, I think like when I first like learned about it and started watching the videos on YouTube, I was like, oh, this is kind of like gross and I wasn't sure like how it worked. And then I started watching more and more videos and seeing how much stuff people were getting. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. And although it was really cool, I thought, I'm like, wow, these stores are throwing all this stuff away. Like this is perfectly fine products. And I will show you guys later in the video all the stuff I have found, so stay tuned. So these companies are throwing away all this product and not only are they throwing away it, but most of the time they are damaging it. So a perfectly fine product is no longer perfectly fine because the company damages it. And so be it, whatever, but to me that is so wasteful because not only do we spend so much resources and time and energy on just one little thing, but it's being thrown away when there's people who would die for things that are being put in the trash. So for me, like, I save some of the stuff I find, but also I like to donate it because there are women out there who don't have this, like, they have one outfit and they can't afford makeup, like, and those are the little things that like some people like to empower themselves with so it's crazy to think that some people aren't privileged enough and don't even have the accessibility to buy those things and if these companies are just throwing it out like we might as well go in there and get it and give it to people who really deserve it um so uh oh sorry guys i'm so tired today but um so yeah, I think it's a really great thing to do um, because you're saving it from the landfill. Before this, I was really interested in going to thrift stores and the Goodwill outlet and buying clothing and reselling them because fashion and clothing is one of the biggest wastes we have in the world. I think it's the second largest polluter that we have in the world because constantly the fashion industry is changing so people want new looks and with stores like Forever 21 and H&M it makes it very very easy to buy new looks for super cheap so people can completely change their whole wardrobe every couple months but they don't realize that clothing just goes to waste and um you know we need to be focusing on maintaining our clothing and if not like if you don't like it, donating it. And sometimes, I love Goodwill, but sometimes donating to Goodwill isn't even the best bet because then people have to go and buy it. Like, in my community, we have a thing called the Dove House where um, women from abused relationships or families can go for a safe shelter, but sometimes they don't get to bring their clothing with them or their belongings. So donating to places like that is so amazing because then your things can have a new purpose. And... and it's just, to me, amazing. So, yes. So, back on the topic of dumpster diving. I started a few weeks ago, and I have to drive about 45 to an hour, hour minutes away from where I live to go look at a dumpster. Um, and that seems outrageous, but when you guys see what I have found, you will understand that I definitely want to keep going back. Um, and it's kind of hard to put yourself out there. Like, I contemplated making this video because even though I don't have a lot of subscribers, it's still people, it's, like, available to the general public. And knowing that some people might see this and think, oh my god, she's dumpster diving. But I am doing it for a reason other than just getting necessity things. And people think it's gross, but it really is not. Like, the... I like to go to Ulta and in the same like area there is an Old Navy 
and they don't throw like any food away so the dumpster is perfectly fine it's clean everything's bagged and I hardly ever get in it because the stuff is usually right on top which I'm really lucky from the stuff I found so to whoever in my future sees this <laughs> hi and um don't like be afraid or alarmed for my mental sanity because it's perfectly fine and I'm perfectly fine. So um, I wanted af after all that aside, I definitely will want to make videos in the like later in my channel talking more about it, maybe trying to gather more facts about it because as of this moment I just have my personal opinions and also like the general like you know the general things that regard this so uh in the past i will or in the future i will show you guys or and talk about it more so now i want to show you guys what i have found so stay tuned and i will show you okay so um this is a little bit of the stuff i am keeping i will go show you guys the stuff i'm keeping and the stuff that i'm selling separately so that way if you guys see stuff that you want in the selling portion of the video you guys can contact me through my instagram i will put that down below so you guys can go on there and send me a dm and say what you're interested in so um here let me get a little bigger view this is all the stuff that I am keeping for myself and this and the stuff I will show you in what I am selling is just from one haul. Just one haul. I just found this in one time. Of course it was souped which means that it had a bunch of stuff on it but um, I cleaned it all off and it's perfectly fine now. I like repress some of it so yeah let me show you guys a little bit of the stuff so first I got all these color pop shadows and I will be keeping all of these I had to repress a few um, but I like to do that anyways because then I just can sanitize them with alcohol and I know they're fine and then I got all of these Becca compacts these are all um, either illuminating blushes or just regular mineral bl bl blushes and I just haven't got around to taking the sticky stuff off the back yet and then I got this face mask this derma blend and here I want to try to show you guys this is like literally brand new that right there that's from me I accidentally shoved my nail in there so this is like a brand new thing and then this is broken, but it's brand new, still has the seal. This was also brand spanking new. That's brand new. That's brand new. And then I got this mascara. All of these NYX lip or lip, NYX lipsticks. Sorry if it's a little shaky, guys. And then I found a bunch of these, but you'll see some of them are in the um, uh, selling portion. And then I got all of these color pop liquid lipsticks and these from booksome sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong but they're really nice they're really bright colors though and then a bunch of eye pencils and like a little like some of them aren't eye pencils but some a lot of them are brand new unopened and then some urban decay hi-fi shines um and then a franken body thing and some more nyx this bare minerals Thing is unopen this Amazonian cosmetics concealer I've never heard of them so hopefully it's good and then over here I got some I think these are from makeup revolution but it's liquid highlighters so I love those and then these are kind of like the foundation type things I saved I don't really wear foundations but I found tons of it so I have this NARS this Becca illuminating primer and then some more foundation, more Bare Minerals foundation. And the pumps are really nice because they're completely sanitary. There's no way someone could get in the middle or inside of here. So the product that's in here is completely sanitary. And all of the makeup I keep, I sanitize completely. Um, and then I found these from Lipstick Queen, which is really awesome because I have always wanted stuff from them. And then an Urban Decay Vice. I think this is Urban Decay. Uh, the Vice lipsticks. Oops, sorry. I'm showing it out of screen, but I got it in that color. It's pretty nice. And then this 
um, Berta B's Chapstick, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Powder, and it's like pretty much brand new. It was used a little bit, um, but I just scraped off the top part of it so that way I knew it was clean. And then uh, something from Benefit, and then some more Benefit things. Sorry, it's not focusing. And then some Urban Decay um, Complexion Primer, and some more Complexion Primer. And then I got the three Anastasia Beverly Hill palettes. And as you can see inside, some of them are used. Um, I might go through and repress these so they look a little brand, li little bit better. But they're sanitized right now, so they're fine to use. That was Soft Glam. That's Subculture. And that's Modern Renaissance. And as you can see, these were testers. But if you just take off the top portion of the or of the powder itself then it's perfectly fine then I got Too Faced um, Sweet Peach Palette which is also pretty fine I don't know what happened here I like smeared some of the shadow and it won't come off so that's depressing but I heard in another video that the black powders always break off and unfortunately it did in here but the rest of the shades oh and that one but the rest of them are fine and then I got this Mally palette. Sorry, my knee <laughs> is in the way. And then I got this palette, um, which is pretty much fine. Like, it's all sanitized. And then this little cute Bare Minerals um, palette, too. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, I think it's almost there. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, like, this is a super pretty palette, and it's basically brand new. Like, besides um, that shade, pretty much they're unused. And then I got all these compacts, these It Cosmetics um, foundation, and then this is a Tarte blush. This is also a blush, I think, and it's pretty much brand new. It just kind of broke on the lid. And this was brand new, but it was completely shattered, so I repressed it, and I made that little shell design on top. And then another little um, Tarte Compact. This is a blush and highlighter duo. And the blush, I still need to go through and clean a little better, but as you can see, like it's pretty much fine. And then I got these two It Cosmetics um, Confidence in Your Glow, and they have been scraped on the top, but that's okay. I mean, they're still perfectly fine. I don't think I really need two of them, but um, I just want to keep them right now to see. And then I got um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Palette, and as you can see, it is pretty much fine. I repressed the purple shade and the blue shade, um, so... Yeah, that's why they kind of look different, but, yep. And then I got this Stila Foundation, a Butter London um, nail lacquer, and then a Laura Geller um, Illuminating Drops. And also, I got this little tin from Benefit, and I've just been putting, like, all the lipsticks I found in here, so that's really great. So, yeah, this is all the stuff, like, half of it, maybe that I am just keeping for myself, so I will show you guys what I am selling. Okay, I forgot a few other things that I'm keeping that I forgot to show. So, I'm keeping this. I think my friend will really like this. It's a anti-frizz thing. I'm keeping this Hot Tools brush. This was like really souped, but I cleaned it. And I'm going to put tea tree oil on it to just like make sure there's no bad buggies on it. And then I'm keeping this Tony Molly um, foaming cleanser. It's like kind of empty, like maybe one thirds full, but that's okay. I'll still use it. And then I found these two Morphe palettes that are the same exact one, um, but one of them is a little damaged. This is the one that's damaged. I actually broke the lid off accidentally, but this is what it looks like inside. I just have t I have um, repressed some of these, but I have to repress some more, and it's missing some. But this one is pretty dang brand new, which is really awesome. Oh god, look at me just breaking more stuff. And then I found this BH Cosmetic um, Carly Bidel palette. 
and this was like pretty messy but I cleaned it all up nicely and it looks pretty good now um I repressed the shadows like I still need to repress that one and maybe that one depending um but I'm gonna use them so that's fine so yeah let me show you guys the stuff <laughs> finally that I am selling now Okay, so here's the rest of my haul. Some of the stuff I am still kind of like on the fence about keeping. Um, but if you guys see something, definitely like hit me up in my Instagram DMs and let me know if you want any of it. So I have these three brushes that I found. I'm still in the process of cleaning them. Um, there's still some like foundation on them, like as you can see on this one um, that I'm having trouble getting out. So if any of you guys are dumpster divers and know how to like fix that like you should let me know <laughs> and then I have this um foaming tanning water um don't really know what that is and then a pure co or pure cosmetics um I think this is a like blush or concealer stick and then some redkin stuff and then this little this is supposed to be over here with these little guys <laughs> but anyways some more it compacts and these are in the shade deep and in the shade Fair, so like the complete opposites. And then this Milani um, blush duo color thing, kind of scraped off, but that's okay. Another It Cosmetics um, foundation in the shade Rich. Um, a blush by Bare Minerals. And some of this stuff I have recompacted because it was kind of like out there like this flower pot um as you can see I need to like kind of redo this one because it turned out not looking the best but then I have some Dernama blend I think this is powder yep and beige bare minerals and pecan more bare minerals and tan to dark and then I have the bronze goddess perfume live color colorfully a Saint Tropez self tanning this don't really know what that is living proof full stuff and then all these it foundations most of these are like pretty dang full still um these ones are like hmm, maybe like half full but like this one is brand new and like so is this one so <laughs> yeah and then i'm selling one of the it confidence in your glows uh dermy eve this and then I have this I don't know where the top went but I figured like someone might like buy it that has a top <laughs> and then I found all these foundations one by Milani Lancome Bare Minerals three by Bare Minerals um Juicy Beauty I think this is also from like a company sorry my finger is in the way anyway so Juicy Beauties some NARS um two too Faced Born This Way um, concealers. This one lost its sticker, but it's pretty, like, fair of a color. And then this one is, um, Warm Sand, I think. Yeah, Warm Sand. And then I got this Clinique powder, and let me try to open it. I love the compact of this, but I just don't know if I'll ever wear powder. I hardly ever wear foundations. This one is perfectly fine again, just it's just a little scraped out. Um, and then all these Becca foundations, like I can't really know, I don't know if you guys can see the colors, but there they are. And then don't know what that is. And then all this NYX lip stuff and then a Mally one. And then I think I might keep that, but um, yeah, I think that's about everything that I'm selling, and this is the last little half of the stuff that I found. And this, like I said, was just all from one thing, and this all, I calculated it out, turned out to be $3,500. So it is $3,500 worth of makeup. This is not including a few other things that I found. The $3,500 isn't including. I found four straighteners, but they do not have a cord attached to them. So I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how to fix those. And then a few other little things. But for the most part, this is what I got. Um, so this is what a $3,500 <laughs> haul dumpster dive from Ulta looks like. And like I said, this was all pretty hard work. I cleaned it all off. It was pretty souped. But as you can see, it's perfectly fine now. Like there's nothing wrong with it. 
Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up or tell me in the comments. I would like to do, like, if you guys would like to see more live dye or, like, a live dive with me, I could do that. And hopefully I'll find more stuff. Um, but yes, I have more, more other stuff I found. Like, sorry, excuse my messy room. But that whole bag I just found yesterday from Old Navy and that's full of clothing. Um, and then I found a new blanket, some candles, a bunch of other things. Um, so if you guys would like to see all that stuff and like to continue seeing videos like this, please like give a thumbs up and a like and leave me a comment on how you think it's going. So yeah, and sorry if it's kind of shaky, I'm kind of shaky. Um, so hopefully I'll get that situation kind of bettered out. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!